And there's a very interesting sequence, of, sequence in the DVD, uh, in the film, where you're interviewing some single women in the United States who are looking for um, sperm donors. Yes. And, and the sort of qualities that they're looking for. Um, it turns out they weren't just all looking for alpha males. No, that's right. Um, in a way, th this, this idea of, of women choosing sperm donors, um, it's a kind of sexual selection. They don't actually see the men who are donating sperm. What they see are dossiers, forms that these men have filled in. So they look down and they say, ah, oh, yes, yeah, this one likes football, this one likes literature, uh, this one likes Aston Martin cars, or whatever it is. Um, and so they choose their donor on the basis of these characteristics that the men have filled in. And uh, one of the conclusions that the, um, that the man who runs the sperm donor clinic had come to is that they very often go for the nicest guys uh, they'd very often go for the sort of person you'd like to meet, mm -hmm. sort of person you'd, you'd, you'd like to have as a companion or a friend. Not quite sure what you make of that, but, but that, was, that was the finding. Are you, are you religious at all? I mean, do you no, pray? Of not. You're not. You're not religious at all. Do I look religious? I hope you die slowly and you f***ing burn in hell, you damned blasphemy. And you should realize that your entire life has been a delusion and that right now your destiny is all f***ed up, atheist. Go f*** yourself. You, sir, are an absolute ass. Your feigned intelligence is nothing more than the fart of God. You suck. Go burn in hell. Satan will enjoy torturing you. Christian living for God. There is a God, her created all of us. The only one who is blinded are the unsaved and stubborn. Everything Darwin said is wrong and evolution has never been proven and nothing is evolving now. The Bible is the best book. <gasps> nothing even comes close to its accuracy and if you think God's judgment is bad, the devil has worse in store for all unbelievers. No punctuation at all in that one. Some correspondence there from just some of the followers of Gentle Jesus, Meek and Mild. <laughs> This is really where the opposition to evolution comes from, isn't it, Richard? I mean, is, is there really any serious opposition to the theory of evolution by natural selection from any sources other than the religious ones? No, um, I, don't think, I don't think so. Um, there's some opposition to the... Um, there's some disagreement about the relative importance of natural selection as opposed to other forces in evolution. There is absolutely no opposition among serious scientists as to the fact of evolution, the fact that we are cousins of chimpanzees and cousins of octopuses and cousins of bacteria, that is totally undisputed. There is a certain amount of disagreement about the relative importance of natural selection and, and other forces in evolution, um, random forces, for example. Um, but, the, but as you say, the, by far the most important opposition does come from, from religious sources. Not, I hasten to say, from respectable, reputable religious sources like bishops and archbishops and cardinals and things. I mean, they're all 100% behind evolution. Nevertheless, something between 40 and 50% of the American public and the British public um, subscribe to the view that humans were created by God, specially uh, within the last 10,000 years, as opposed to being evolved from, from other species. That's more than 40% of the population of America and Britain subscribe to a view which is downright dotty. And it's not just wrong, it's, it's hugely, colossally wrong. Uh, the date, for example, I mean, the true date, of, the true date when evolution began is about, well, it's certainly more than 3.5 billion, 3 billion years, because we have fossil ev evidence for that. So 10,000 years compared to 3.5 billion years. Um, that's equivalent to believing that um, the, the, that the width of North America is, is to be measured in, in, in yards. Um, the distance from New York to San Francisco is, is something like 20 yards. That's the, the scale of the error we're talking about. This is the scale of the error which is believed by 44% by of the American public, according to a 2008 Gallup poll. That's what we're up against. 